Hi there, let's make a magnifying glass today. So I was looking at this magnifying glass and I decided I wanted to make another one and I think I want it to be a little bit bigger. So here are some things that you'll need if you would like to make a magnifying glass too. I have some black scrap paper. I already used this paper to cut out some circles to make other magnifying glasses. So I'm going to keep using this paper so I don't waste paper. We can use this up until it's all gone. I also have some tape. I have some glue. You can use tape or glue, whatever you have at home. I have some scissors. Remember that when you're using scissors, a grown-up should be with you and making sure that you're being safe with them because they're sharp. I also have a plastic cup. You can also use a plastic bowl or you can use anything that is round that you can trace your circle shape. And I have a crayon. I chose yellow because I'm going to use my crayon to write on black paper and I want it to show up on the paper so a lighter color will show up better than a darker color like blue or green. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take my plastic cup and I'm going to put it on my paper and I'm going to trace it. So let's take a look. Here's my cup and here is my black paper. I'm going to use my yellow crayon and trace around that circle shape all the way around the cup. And now I'm going to cut out the shape that I need. I can see the circle because I used a yellow crayon. I'm going to use my scissors and cut all the way around the circle shape that I drew on my black paper. Just like this until we get all the way around. Practicing cutting is really fun. And don't worry if you need some help. I'm sure a grown up or your brother or your sister or an aunt or an uncle will help you. Okay, we're gonna put the black paper to the side because we're gonna use that again in a minute. But let's take a look at this magnifying glass and the circle that I just cut out. What is the difference? The circle on the magnifying glass has a hole in the middle and this circle that I made does not. So let's make a hole in the middle. How can we do that? Hmm. Well, we can take the other side of the cup that's smaller. The bottom side is smaller. So we can put that on the circle that we already traced and we can trace that circle all the way around. Ta-da! And then we can cut this out. So the way that we're going to cut that out without damaging the outside part of our circle is we're going to stick our scissors through the middle very carefully. Ask a grown-up to help you with this part so you don't poke your fingers with your sharp scissors. Now that my scissors made a hole in the middle, I can open them and put them in the hole like this. Then I can cut until I get to that line and I can put my scissors back in and cut all the way around. This part is pretty tricky, so if you need help from a grown-up for this part, you can ask mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, or you can ask a big brother or a big sister to help you, because doing this inside circle is a little bit tricky. But if you wanna try it, it will be really great cutting practice. Okay, we cut out that circle in the middle, and now look, it looks much more like the circle on my other magnifying glass, doesn't it? But this one is still missing something. It's missing this handle. This shape of the handle looks kind of like a long rectangle or maybe a long oval shape. So to make that shape, I'm going to take my scrap paper. And if I look at the side of my scrap paper here, the edge is a nice long straight edge. So I think what I'm going to do, since I want a long rectangle, is I'm just going to cut a long straight line all the way down the paper, just like this. I don't even have to make a line. I can just cut as straight as I can. But you can make a line if you want to. You can try using a ruler if you like. Okay, so now I have to put these together. Let me take a look at this really quickly. What do you think? 
Does that look a little too long? I think so. I think the handle's a little too long for the top of our magnifying glass. So I'm going to make it a little shorter by cutting it maybe right there. I think that looks better. So now, how are we going to attach these? Well, you can use glue and put a little dot of glue on the handle of your magnifying glass and stick it to the back of the circle and let it dry. Or you can take a piece of tape. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and just stick it right on the back of the magnifying glass to attach that handle to the magnifying glass. Then I can fold my tape, if there's any extra tape on my circle, I can fold it and smush it into my magnifying glass and then look how quickly that was. Look at this magnifying glass. Now, if we wanna take a closer look at something, we can. I hope you have fun making ma your magnifying glass. And if you make it, bring it to circle time with you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.